All right, we're gonna put this new mixer together. Got from Harbor Freight. All the parts here. Everybody's saying it's a real pain in the ass put together. I don't know. Got bags marked. I don't know why they would say it was tough. And let me, let me get into it. I'm not even gonna use the instructions. They're over there. Yeah. I don't need that junk. <laughs> put this together with my mind. This is what I'm up to so far. Looks like they, they short me one of these washers. Or well, they gave me an extra one. I think they go on the inside like that, so they're gonna rub up against there. I should have a washer for the outside, I think. And uh, put the cotter pin. You know? I'm gonna have to go buy a washer, it looks like. Alright, so I did grab the instructions just to see about that washer thing there all right let me get back to it all right got that on that's tough getting in there if you rotate it like i did put it upside down like that it'll go right in so the bolt instruction is not too clear so i'm just you know going by how many holes are there all right so we're about 15 minutes into it got the handle all on here Got a spring you gotta put in here with a flat, like a slug. You need to tighten the tension here. How hard you want this to be. I didn't tighten it up yet. That's all on. I think what I got now, just the motor and everything. Alright. Alright, so I'm just about there. My wife wants to go out. I plugged it in, I tested the motor. It works. So, let me go out, and I'll be back. All right, so I just put the gasket on the top piece here with the screws in to hold it. They want you to put some seal into something. I don't think you need it. Sitting there nice and tight. The sealant was just to hold it. I'm lining those arrows up. Instructions don't say nothing about it. So I'm going to line them up and see how these paddles going thinking they want you to put them like this from here put them like that you know, down there and then the other hole up here like this and smash it tight I don't know let me see if I can figure this out There it is. Think I got it right. I think that's the way those go. So, how about we give her a test run? Pull this sucker in here. Get it off the nice floor. It's probably gonna start vibrating like crazy. Show you the, show you the molds. This you just pull this apart. Like this and rotates up. There's no reason for it to be up like that. When you mix in cement, it should be like that. I usually go even like this. Get it really mixing, and you throw it in the wheelbarrow like that. All right, let me uh, take you downstairs. Those are the molds. See, I bought a new one. That's the old one that I was using outside the, the front of the house. I bought another one to match it. You just fill these up. Cement, you know, make the cement nice and stiff. You take, make it smooth, pull them off, and you keep going. It's a non-stop process. Oh, there it is. Wasn't that hard to put together. I didn't use the glue in here, sealant. I mean, once I tighten those screws, this rubber is like all the way around you see it you 
know, it's pinched in there. I think that's the only way to put the rubber. I don't think there's any other way to put it. You can't double it. That's got to be it. All right, boys. Be back when we're doing. Look at my wife making fun of me. <laughs> I'll be back when I'm doing some of the stuff in the yard. Later.